Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and this is our third day here building up our understanding of heredity and how um, certain traits are passed from a parent to their child or from a parent organism to its offspring. Um, so let's take a look. It says genes come in pairs. I'm supposed to say genes with an S, sorry guys. Each half of a gene pair known as an allele comes from one parent and codes for a certain trait. Some of you guys are like, didn't we do this question yesterday? I'm giving you the same information, but it'll have a different question, very similar to the GED. <laughs> Some traits, like having freckles, capital F, are dominant, meaning that they are always expressed. Other traits, like not having freckles, little f, are recessive. Gene pairs can be homozygous, coding for the same trait, or heterozygous, coding for different traits. When a gene pair is heterozygous, the trait of the dominant allele will be expressed. Okay, so what are they saying here? They're saying that you get a gene that codes for something, like the color of your eyes, or whether or not you'll have freckles, or, you know, um, if your earlobes are attached or are free hanging. Um, but that gene gets information from both of your parents, from your mother and your father. You'll get an allele, a half of a gene from your father. So you could have like a capital F uh, gene uh, or allele that says that you are going to have freckles uh, from your father but then you could have a little f not having freckles allele from your mother so the gene is the pair of them and then each one of these letters we use a letter to symbolize it but each gene half is known as an allele and you get one from each parent okay now let's take a look at the question. It says, based on the reading, match each genotype, the gene pair, to its phenotype, physical expression. Some choices may be used more than once. Okay, so um, there are three possibilities here of what could happen with your genes. Either, you know, because I only have a capital F and a lowercase f when it comes to having freckles. Either you uh, have a capital F having freckles allele or you have a lowercase f not having freckles allele so let's look at all the possible combinations of that well it could be that your m mother gives you a capital f and your father gives you a capital f they give you the same um allele for that particular gene uh, and then we call that being homozygous now this particular one's homozygous dominant because they're both dominant uh, on the other hand, you could get the same gene, homozygous again, but they could both be recessive. Um, so like not having freckles, not having freckles in this case, that would be homozygous re um, uh, recessive. Uh, but then the final case is you could have different genes. You could get a capital F from one parent and a lowercase f from another parent, and that's the same gene really, but different alleles of the same gene. So you have this gene that codes for the same thing, but you have two different messages being sent through your genes. The capital F allele says, um, give him freckles, and the lowercase allele F says, don't give him freckles. And so, you know, then which one's going to win in a case like that? Well, let's take a look. It actually tells us at the end of the reading. It says when a gene pair is heterozygous, and they told us that heterozygous means coding for different traits. So like this guy, this guy's heterozygous. The trait of the dominant allele will be expressed. Basically, that's why we use a capital letter. The capital letter is going to win when you have one capital and one lowercase. Okay, well, let me show you what I mean. So we said capital F was dominant and it codes for having freckles. So obviously if both your genes say have some freckles, have some freckles, guess what? You're going to end up freckled. Okay, same thing with uh, the other way around. If both your alleles here in the same gene say not freckled, so don't be freckled, don't be freckled, then you're not going to end up freckled. So no mystery when you're homozygous, when your alleles code for the same trait. However, when you're heterozygous like this guy, he's got a capital F and a lowercase f. His genes, are, his alleles, I should say, are telling this one gene to do different things. So what will end up happening? Well, in this case, the capital F will win and he will end up freckled. All right, so final answers here. A, this guy ends up freckled. B, if he had those 
that gene genetic code, he would end up freckled again, but it only C when you have both not freckled would end up not freckled. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.